Hey guys, and welcome to a video on how to unlock the auto build ability for Link. So this is going to follow the quest that you did at Lookout Landing, the one where you first go into the depths. And if you've done this quest, this means you're in line to go ahead and get the um, auto build ability. So this quest is the one that you do right over here. I'm sure you've done it at this point. And if you don't have the ability right now, it's really easy to go and get it. Now, if you didn't know, every single location or pin that you find on the overworld here, on the main world, is the same location under, right? So like all the shrines in the depths are the same shrine locations as they are on the ground or else like on the mainland. Now we're going to this location over here, but so I'm gonna put a star over here, right? But not on the main map. I'm gonna go down to the depths and I'm gonna put a star there because this is the location of the building that we need to go to in the actual depths instead. So go ahead and do that. Then go to one of the nearest chasms to that star location on your main world so that you can go down and get to that star in the depths as close as possible. We're gonna just take one that was near a shrine that was nearby. And if I open up my map here, you can see here, we're here and we need to head to the star location that we set. And at that star location, you can actually see it from this location right now, from this chasm that we went through. That is the location we're going to. So you just have to make your way there. Quite simply, once you're here, you'll see there are some people and there's also a handprint machine thing that you're gonna do. And this is gonna give you the ability as well as a little bit of a tutorial on how to use the auto build ability. But in short, every single time you build something, it will save in the memory or the history of things that you've built and it will allow you to either build it with materials that are nearby or it will actually spend your zonite as a material to craft like these, these things out of nothing really however they're not real materials they're only there for fake like if you detach it it gets destroyed for example i'm going to show you how to use it in the overworld over here i have zero materials here if i did it wouldn't cost me anything as long as i had those pieces but if i want to build a wing and a plane with the stuff here you can see it's going to cost me 15 zoanite to to actually construct this and once you do this it will charge you and you have the device you'll see it's all glowing and green this means if i detach anything it will be destroyed. It's not like something you can replace or fix or change. It's a really cool way once you have Zonite and you're okay spending it to just make these devices whenever you need them the most. Like right now I'm getting a wing and literally using a little trick to get it in the sky if you're struggling, just like that. Like just hold it in the air and then rewind it and then I'm flying in the sky. Nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.